We're going to go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and stand to our feet. I, uh, I want to talk about a guy in the Bible named Thomas. And <laughs> I like Thomas because I think that we're a lot like him, you know. So I had a conversation with Wade one day, and God just brought it to my heart again to share this with you guys. But um, I'm going to read a little bit. hope that's okay with you guys. But this is John chapter 20. And this is Jesus appearing to his disciples after the resurrection. And it says, That Sunday evening the disciples were meeting behind locked doors because they were afraid of the Jewish leaders. Suddenly Jesus was standing there among them. Peace be with you, he said. And as he spoke, he showed them the wounds in his hands and in his side. They were filled with joy when they saw the Lord. Again, he said, peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I am sending you. Then he breathed on them and said, receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive anyone's sins, they are forgiven. If you do not forgive them, they are not forgiven. So then comes Thomas, right, which is me, guilty. He said... One of the 12 disciples, Thomas, was not with the others when Jesus came. They told Thomas, we have seen the Lord. But Thomas replied, I won't believe it unless I see the nail wounds in his hands and put my fingers into them and place my hand into the wound in his side. How many times do we go about life that way? We won't believe unless we see. And we have that very popular saying that seeing is believing. But true faith means believing without seeing. So it says, eight days later, the disciples were together again. And this time, Thomas was with them. The doors were locked again. But suddenly, as before, Jesus was standing among them. Peace be with you, he said. And he said to Thomas... Put your finger here and look at my hands. See, he knew what Thomas was desiring of him. And he's so kind. He didn't say, oh, you're faithless. Oh, you're weak. You know, you need to grow up, which is true. It's true. But he was so kind to Thomas because he granted him exactly what he had said he needed. He said, put your hand into the wound in my side and don't be faithless any longer. Believe. And so I just love that story because that's very encouraging that God meets us where we are, but he doesn't want us to stay where we are. Right. Because after he showed Thomas who he was, he said, don't be faithless any longer. So we're in that place now where we don't need to be faithless any longer, but we need to believe because we have seen all the wonderful things that he's done. So be encouraged with that today. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. 
release your kingdom's power, reaching the near and far. The force of hell can stop, the changing hearts. You made us so much more than this. Awake, the kingdom seated in us. Fill us with the strength.
still know his name.
praise to the King of Kings. You are my everything, and I will adore you.
Lord, we pray that these would be more than songs that we sing. Father, that these words would sink deep into our heart, Lord, that we would truly know who you are, God. Draw us closer to you, Lord, each and every day, Lord. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercy, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen.